Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Morgan Hayes, and she's with the University of Kentucky Biosystems and Agriculture Engineering. Good morning. Good morning. Now, we need some rain. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> When people think about rainfall, sure. that's obviously something that we could capture and maybe utilize, but you have a really cool tool. Sure, I do. Uh, so we've had, I think the last couple of years, very extreme rainfall events and then very dry events. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we're tending to see is more heavy rainfall events more often. And a lot of people have guttered their houses and their barns, uh, and they're still struggling with these heavy rainfall events and overflow from the gutter system. Uh, and so this calculator will help you size both your gutters and your downspouts for these anticipated rain events. Uh, so it'll first suggest looking up a rainfall total uh, and then figure out what size gutters you actually need for your barn or your house. Okay, and so this calculator will help us figure out... If the gutters we have are properly sized or if we need more gutters or if we need more downspouts. Gotcha, and so that calculator, and what will, help, what will that help producers do? It'll help with rainfall and erosion from the sides of the barns. So one of the really irritating things about putting in the gutter is if you put in the gutter, you do it so you don't have the deterioration of the ground around the foundation of your house or barn. Mm -hmm. uh, and the frustration is if you spend the money to put them in, you want them to work. Uh, and if we have these heavy rainfall events, a lot of times they're not sized correctly. Uh, and sometimes it's that the gutters aren't sized correctly, but a lot of times it's that there's not an adequate amount of downspout space. Okay. Uh, so this will help with both sizing the gutter and the downspout. Uh, so the calculator will very quickly go from a two inch rainfall event, sort of a typical rainfall, 25 year, one hour rainfall event here in Bowling Green. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll go uh, and convert that into the gallons of water coming off of a roof somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 gallons a minute. Okay. Which is a pretty significant amount of water if you really think about how much you have to move off of that roof line. And it'll tell us what size gutter we need, at what slope, uh, and how much uh, downspout we actually need to get. And see, I think when people probably do this, they think, oh, I'm gonna put some gutters up, exactly. and that's gonna help. But we still have problems with water in the barn. Or... Exactly, and, it, if, and if our gutters overflow, then that water flows right back in along the side of the building, back under the metal siding and back into the barn. So I guess this is what we should do first. It would be better to do this first, and if you're frustrated with what's happening right now, this would be a quick way to see whether or not you could just convert downspouts or if you really need to hang a whole new gutter on the side of a barn. Uh, a lot of times the cheaper option might be to maintain the gutters that you have and add additional downspouts. Okay. Uh, and you can see here, I have two examples for you here of both, a, both are standard residential downspouts. One's a two by three and one's a three by four downspout. Uh, both are commercially available at somewhere like Lowe's or Home Depot or mm -hmm. your local home improvement store. But the capacity for holding water between these is like significantly different, right? So if you're having trouble with your gutters, adding extra downspouts, properly sizing those downspouts might make it possible to maintain the gutters you already have mounted on the barn work. Uh, with just additional downspouts. So there are strategies to make what you have work uh, and strategies for sizing up when you're starting out, especially for these larger machine sheds and larger barns. Okay, now I'm assuming though, once we get these downspouts, that water has to go somewhere, right? We do still need to divert it away from the barn. And there are a lot of options for this. We can put some small capture basins. We can put some longer lines along the edges of the barns, uh, put some rock uh, drainage ditches in. Uh, anything we can do to move that 30 to 50 feet away from the edges of the barn is our best bet. Anything we can do to get the ground to slope away from the edges of the barn is also one of our priorities. Uh, and a lot of times, um, there's some, right now, there's some funding through the Governor's Office of Ag Policy to do rainwater harvesting. Yes. Uh, and that rainwater harvesting is a really good opportunity right now, especially in these drought conditions, to store some water to be able to reuse it later without having to pay for city water. Right, and capacity is probably still an issue with that though. Even when we capture some of this rainfall, if those big, uh, those heavy rain events, a lot of times where we have those capture basins or where, where we're harvesting can overflow as well. Ab absolutely, and, so and, and ponds are probably a pretty good strategy uh, because they will allow us to slow the flow of water leaving, mm -hmm. uh, which will allow us to avoid some of the erosion issues that happen with smaller catchments. Um, so having some strategies in place for both the initial capture and for the release, especially on those larger rainfall events in a very wet season are both really important. Yeah, but probably starting from the beginning. And I think a lot of times we think, oh, we need a barn, we need a shed, let's throw it up. 
Exactly. And then later we're, we're worried about this. So this would be a better place to start. And I know you have this website where people can go to. That's right. It's available on my website. All right. Well, appreciate the information. And if you have any questions about this rainfall calculator or guttering and downspouting your barn, please contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.